lift off of Tim Copra, Yuri Malenchenko, and Timothy Peake on their way to the International Space Station. The hostile environment of outer space could kill a human without a spacesuit in a matter of seconds. But even safely inside a space station or spacesuit, an astronaut's body is at risk. They can face everything from vision and bone loss to depression, sleep disorders, and even a risk of cancer. NASA is researching the physical limits of the human body in space to see if astronauts can one day survive the three-year, 140 million mile journey to Mars. Gravitational loss brings all sorts of risks to astronauts. Bone loss occurs because bones can't get the minerals they need, and astronauts' bone density can drop at a rate of 1% per month. Gravitational loss also causes the fluids and blood in your body to shift upward towards your head. That extra pressure on your eyes causes vision problems. To help with this, astronauts wear compression cuffs on their thighs to help keep the blood in their lower extremities. Loss or change in gravity can also impair spatial orientation, hand-eye coordination, balance, and locomotion. A common reaction to this is motion sickness. Cosmic radiation also presents health risks, like increasing an astronaut's risk of cancer. On Earth, humans are protected by our planet's magnetic field and its atmosphere, but astronauts in space can receive over 10 times the amount of radiation we experience on Earth. Space radiation can also cause radiation sickness that results in nausea, vomiting, anorexia, fatigue, and degenerative tissue diseases. Floating through space might look effortless and fun, but zero gravity can be dangerous. Because floating requires little effort, astronauts need to exercise and eat properly or their body and muscle will deteriorate. They might even experience cardiovascular deconditioning. The isolation and confinement of space can also impact an astronaut's mental health. Mood, cognition, morale, sleep patterns, and interpersonal interaction can all be affected. The farther away you get from Earth and the longer time you spend in space, the greater likelihood that space travel will take a toll on your body. All of these risks considered, NASA isn't backing down. They say they're still trying to reach Mars by the 2030s.